My father was an entomologist and I was exposed to the study of insects from a very young age. I grew up in eastern Oregon. I enjoyed collecting insects when I was young and I was a, a member of 4-H entomology clubs. Systematic entomology was sort of part and parcel of the kinds of projects that we did and that's the, the area of entomology that always interested me and continues to do so. Many people ask me about my specific interest, true bugs, uh, and, and the question usually ends up unresolved in that there are not a lot of really obvious species even though there are 40,000 described species on a worldwide basis. Of late, the bed bug has become the, the sort of signature true bug. These are animals with, with sucking mouth parts, an aspect that, of, of their structure that distinguishes them from most other insects. Much of my work, uh, especially um, earlier on in my time at the museum, was involved strictly with the study of, of insect structure. Insects uh, show a lot of diversity of structure, and those structures are a basic part of the way we understand insect classification. In the 35 years that I've worked at the museum, I've worked on, on many different projects from all parts of the world. During the per that period of time, I've described approximately 500 species. Many of us find, uh, find field work itself to be, to be exciting. I, I can't exactly tell you why. It's like going camping. Some people just love to do it. There are always new things to be discovered, uh, and there's there's no place that I've gone, except possibly the wet tropics, that I didn't just enjoy immensely. I grew up in a dry desert area, and I enjoy working in those kinds of areas. And indeed, the group of organisms that I work on is extremely diverse, in, in particularly in Mediterranean climates. Field work for entomologists is, is an absolute necessity because no single collection has, has all species. All the collections in the world don't have all the species. So one of our objectives is to find what's out there, that nobody has found before us. Early on in my career, I became interested in, in the relationship between true bugs and their hosts, in my case, their host plants. The group that's really attracted most of my attention has been the family Myridae, or what we call plant bugs in North America, most of which feed on, feed on plants, and many of which are what we call host-specific. In other words, every bug species has its own plant species. If you know your plants, then you can learn your bugs. Every day I come to the museum, I enjoy it. It's true today as much as it was in 1974 when I first started to work at the museum. Uh, science is a, is a process of discovery. Discovery, I think for all of us, is exciting to see new things, to, uh, to find new things, to know that you're looking at things that nobody else has ever studied. That's the most exciting aspect of, of my work and maybe more particularly of working at the American Museum of Natural History.